Hello again. In this video, we're going to take the mug that we designed for activity 2.2 and we're going to do a couple of things to dress it up, make it a little bit fancier, see if you like these uh, adjustments that we can make to it and uh, maybe see how you can apply these to your own mug design. Uh, so this is uh, one on the left that I designed earlier. I'm going to do some modifications on it. So I'm going to bring that over so that we can work on that a little bit easier. And here's something like this. Uh, earlier what I did is group the mug body, the boss, and the handle all into one unit before it was finished. So what I want to do at this point is click on it and you can see that the entity box goes around everything there. And to be able to make some adjustments on this one without starting over completely, what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to choose to explode this group. What that will do then is break apart a couple of items. The mug body you see highlighted in blue right there uh, is itself. And then we've got this other group with the boss and the handle. So what I'll do now is just move that out. away from the mug body a bit so I have some room to work on it and then I am going to explode it so now I've got all of these individual parts that I can work with and adjust so what I'm going to do is take oh maybe just the handle part and use my delete key and delete that out and then you can see here that we've got some items in place uh, that we may or may not want to keep so I'm going to go ahead and do some erasing here I'm going to keep this round circle that I made to get the shape of my handle but this one you can see here by clicking on each segment I can do some erasing uh, but a lot of times what I find is if I can box in a section and then use my delete key it's a little bit more efficient and I can get rid of some bigger sections that way so I'm going to go through and stop the recording for a moment and use these techniques and clean up the portions that I no longer need and then I'll be right back to show you where we go from here all right so now we're back and as you can see I've cleaned up a lot of this initial uh, sketch geometry that I had for the handle I left the circle as being the shape that I want for the handle profile and I left my horizontal line coming out here uh, from there the rest of it I'm going to create again and put in place uh, so what I'm going to do at this point is turn this around so I'm looking at the front and I'll use my pan tool and move that over a bit way I can see all the way to the bottom right there and have some work area over here on the right and I'll go back. I'm going to use my two point arc tool again. Select that point and then bring one down somewhere down in this area and make a nice handle shape like so. So, with that, I've got a nice arc. Now, you notice here I've left a gap between the end of the arc and the boss. I'm not going to connect those because what I want to do is to use another arc and sort of make a turn this way from the end of this handle. So maybe come back to this point and somewhere down like that and then bend that back around in this way. Something like that. I can kind of keep playing with that until I get a shape that I like and that's probably fine for what we're doing right here and then I'm going to come back with my selection tool I'll need to take this section 
and clean that up. When you draw your second curve here, you may wind up with two or three line segments kind of in this area where the two curves intersect that you've got to clean up. You need to have one curve touching one curve coming together basically like this for this technique to work. All right. So with that in place, then I can now go back to my isometric view and then use follow me to select my shape and then I'm going to try to get right there on that beginning follow it right around both curves to the end and looks like I need to try that again I've missed the first section you know once again always be careful what you're doing and don't be afraid to redo something. This is acting really, really crazy. There we go. A little more like we want. Let's try see if we can pan this up and getting that to finish up in good shape. There we go. And that handle looks pretty neat. I'll look at it from the front side. And you can see there that we've got a little fancier curve on that, which some folks might like, which is pretty neat. Now, one of the other things I'd like to try on this is to kind of clean up this boss a little bit. Because that is awfully, awfully long on here. So what I can do at this point is just press pull or push pull and bring that top down something more like oh something like that and if I like I can do the same thing on the bottom and you know maybe somewhere in there just kind of reduce the look of that boss there a little bit and it's a little bit less noticeable the other thing that I might want to try is adjusting the shape of it a little bit so in this case I'm gonna look at my front so I can see that from the side and what I thought about doing was something like this we'll see if this works just angling off that surface with a line and then doing a push pull on that and if my memory serves I believe that boss is three-fourths of an inch across so I can put in point seven five inches and let's hope that takes care of it that's not quite going in there the way I want. So this time, let me go ahead and I'll try that across. There we go. I hit that exactly at three quarters and just angled off that top. So when I put that in place, maybe that's a little less noticeable as well. So let's come back and reassemble the handle to the mug. And as you remember, we just use, well, first we probably should group these so let's go ahead and group that make group and then we can use move just scoot that right into the mug body being careful not to shift that over something like that which looks pretty good and then make the entire mug a group and we now have a mug that looks really good with a fancier handle and a boss that's less notable noticeable on that um, be sure you save your work often and as always give it a try see if you can find some ways to adjust this even further to make your look your mug look even better. Thanks a lot for watching and as always 
you need help or have questions, be sure and ask.